what we're looking at here is a crop of rye and vetch put in to restructure the soil and capture as much carbon as possible. That field that's empty over there was winter barley. It's really, really struggling with all the rainfall that was coming down, going through the soil. <clears throat> crop was trying to die on its feet and this end of the field that because the topography was suffering worse so we put the rye and vetch in. Cheap to established, rye came straight out the shed from neighbouring pig farm, didn't cost a great deal so huge root mass grows anywhere and the vetch providing lots of nitrogen for the rye to stimulate that but more importantly what I wanted to show you is just the restructured nature of the soil so if we just have a look at where how easy that spade goes through the soil. Virtually no pressure whatsoever. So that means that the roots are going to have exactly the same ease of entry into the soil later on. See the root structure all the way down to the bottom of the spade in even such a short time. Soil's really friable. All the good things we know, but the point is this soil was so heavy I couldn't even get the penetrometer through it. As you can see, it's quite a good clay content. It would have just been dead on its feet. And later on, what we're going to do is overfly it with a satellite, look at the images and see the difference between the crop after the Ryan Vetch cover crop and the crop after the barley, just to see what we can show.